Welcome to Let's Play Dust, I'm Nye. Uh, while I was compiling the previous episode, the shops have updated. So let's see, do we have enough materials to make this happen? Unfortunately, no. Uh, we uh, need a lot more flesh and bone in order to make the uh, flesh sheath, unfortunately. So that won't be happening anytime soon, but that's alright. Uh, we can uh, keep on going on as we are now, for the time being at least. I'm sure with the amount of mannequins that we are fighting, uh, and the amount of, um, time this is gonna take us to go through this entire area, there will be plenty of shop updates and plenty of flesh and bone for us to pick up later on in the line. Now it's raining, and that's usually not a good thing. That's usually an indication of bad things to come. But we are, uh... This is sort of a far cry from the start of this LP. Uh, I am actually picking up uh, not only a decent amount of... Oh, crap, it's one of these guys. Okay, these guys are absolutely obnoxious. Uh, I really dislike them. Uh, they're necromancers. And the reason why I dislike them is that they are kind of hard to hit. Uh, they really only can be hit by magic, like so. And um, they summon enemies for us. Now, I mean, this would be a great way for me to just get a crap ton of experience, as you would expect. The problem with this is that they, uh, they have a really big amount of life, as you can see. And um, that big amount of life is going to cause me issues, especially if I'm trying to actually leave the area. Uh, I can just walk over to my left if I want to try, but these guys will catch up to me pretty darn quickly. And uh, they will make me uh, wish that I had killed them ahead of time anyways. So I'm going to actually try to kill this guy before I move on. Uh, I'm going to get plenty of experience for doing it. So, I mean, this is not necessarily a bad thing. This is not the worst thing that's ever happened to me. What I'm trying to avoid is, again, the explosive mannequins over here. He's actually building up a small army of them. Uh, they can set each other off, which is actually what I'm trying to get done here. Uh, there we go. Well, at least I thought they could set each other off. Eh, I'm going a little bit too high here. So we're trying to get him to actually die for us, but I do need a decent amount of magic power to do that. There we go. Should be going down quick. Uh, this, by the way, is where you're going to get that 10,000 point combo. Uh, you're going to want to let him build up, uh, make sure you have uh, plenty of armor to do it with, and then you're just going to basically blast everyone and just keep on swinging. Uh, don't stop for any reason, uh, you know, just keep on doing this, basically. As you can see, I'm already up to 500 without really breaking a sweat. Uh, and if you do it right, if you're using the ugly pendant and all that jazz, uh, you will do plenty of ow damage to your enemies uh, without taking too much damage yourself. Uh, I'm a really good, of course, example of that. I'm actually probably going to die from this burn. Uh, it's going to be close. Yeah, I'm down to 1 HP, uh, and I have absolutely nothing to really get my health back with. That was about the worst thing that could have happened. Okay, so we had plenty of, um, plenty of chickens, which is good. I do not want that to happen again, that's for sure. Okay, so there's another one of our climbing walls that we can't do much about. I believe one of the mansions that we are eventually going to have to ow, go into is going to be up that wall, uh, but we can't do that for now, so we're going to have to keep on fighting. There's a health and save point. I'm uh, going to use that. I uh, can't go to the right, so we're going to go to the left. I'm just going to talk to myself here. I'm trying to avoid those bastards because they will uh, do that. It's not that hard to dodge, but um, you know, it can cause problems. Give ourselves a little bit more EXP here. I'm kind of amazed we haven't actually leveled up any time recently. Uh, with the amount of guys we're fighting and the amount of EXP that we're gaining, I'd expect us to see a level up you know, a little bit faster than we're actually getting here. Okay, so there is a bomb flower point. That's actually going to require probably three bomb flowers. We do have plenty of spikes here. Uh, that is an up only, so we're going to go down here. Ah, good. We have flies here next to, conveniently, three bomb flowers. Now, what I probably could have just done is dust storm and had the bomb flowers take out these guys, but I w didn't want to wait for the bomb flowers to respawn. So we 
might have to wait for those to explode, because I really want to get whatever's in this chest. So let's wait for those to explode. There they go. Okay, well, let's, uh back down through this side and see if I can dust storm these over. I if I can get fidget, but I can't get these to come with me. Okay, well that's fine. They're just gonna blow up. I, I mean, I only need one to just the thing. But I can't quite get them to come with me. The pull of, uh, Everything else is apparently too powerful. Well, since I have this one over here anyways, let's blast open that. Still need a single bomb flower to open that last wall. So I gotta come down here anyways. But you know, I might as well. Darn! Sort of hit that wall there. Okay, let's get these to come with me. We'll open up this door here. And I can talk to this guy. Uh, do you have anything new for me? He does, actually. Uh, he's got some... He's got a coward's pen, and we already have that. He's got the pen of the madman, which gives us a lot of attack and luck. But uh, I don't really want that right now. Uh, do I have anything to sell you right now? Yes, I do. I got the ectoplasm and the lost soul. Uh, these are both items from uh, the uh, necromancers. I'm glad I got those cataloged. The Lost so Ow. That was bad. The Lost Souls are very expensive to buy, uh, and unfortunately we end up needing uh, quite a lot of them down the line. How am I supposed to... This is, uh, annoying, to say the least. Let me see if I can stand right at the edge of this. Drag that thing in from here. Nope. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do there. I guess I'm gonna have to come back for this one. So I'm wasting way too much try time trying to get it. Let's instead keep on moving to our left. Trip that guy. And keep on moving on. So I got two chests I gotta catch up to. This looks like a dead end here, but uh, what it actually is, is it's the entrance to uh, the first mansion. Right here. Now the mansions are kind of interesting for a very specific reason. Okay, so I need the climbing gear for that. Let's go into the mansion. So you can explore a little bit, uh, if you look at these things, those things can be broken, more mysterious wall chickens, and we have a note, uh, let's see, he took breakfast in his office today, I think he'd been there all night, our guest left this morning as well, looked somewhat like some kind of officer, maybe a general, what would the king's army want with Master Kane? Master Kane, again, I don't think that, uh, that name does not sound particularly nice, um, pretty worried about Master K. Oh, hey, look, it's a ghost. It's a ghost that's chasing me. What is that thing? It's a ghost. Dust. That being exists in a place that I cannot reach. Run. No, seriously, run. You cannot fight this thing. You cannot do anything. You must run. Now, uh, you know, that being said, the actual chase sequence here is not particularly hard. Uh, as you can see, I'm not trying amazingly hard to evade this thing. Uh, the game does a pretty good job of letting me uh, stay ahead of it in pretty much all cases. Now, you will need to, uh, you know, break down walls. You'll need to do a number of things. But the actual ghost is pretty easy to stay ahead of. I'm not going to pretend that I'm going to stay ahead of it all the time. I may actually even take a little bit of damage every once in a while. That's not what I wanted. 
Ow. No, not what I want. Attack that. Thank you. Uh, you don't actually have to go too far to escape it. Is it gone? I think so. I think so. Is that who Cora was talking about? Well, this Cora woman better start explaining herself. I can't take any more of this. Yeah, we got chased down by a ghost. And an unhappy ghost. So now we just picked up uh, the old painting. And now we just got the iron grip ability, which allows us finally to climb. Now, it's not a normal climbing ability. Uh, you actually, you can't just climb. It's more of a grab and jump ability. So basically just allows me to hang on walls and have those spines. Once you actually uh, complete the mansion and uh, stop the ghost from chasing you, uh, he doesn't come back. So now we can sort of slowly work our way throughout the remainder of the mansion. This is kind of important because some of these mansions are actually going to have... Uh, they're going to actually have items to pick up, as you can see uh, shown on uh, my map. There is an item still in this room that we have to find. Might even be more than one, I can't recall. So let's get rid of the flies first, so that way they're not going to bother us much longer. So I dislike dealing with them. And then we are going to work our way up. There's a key, and that makes all the items in this mansion. So now we can just slowly make our way uh, back to the beginning. Is that a skull? That looks like a skull. So we're getting fairly well stocked on keys, which is good, because as I said, I'm going to need a lot of them. Uh, the stair controls need a little bit of work. Uh, I don't believe we ever have to run away from the ghost, uh, run away from Master Kane, uh, by going down. But you do actually, ow, have to drop through the stairs as if they were a platform in order to get on the lower level to actually keep moving on the lower level. Uh, which isn't, um... It's not something that feels quite intuitive, unfortunately. Uh, it could have been done a lot better than it is. Now, I'm not going to complain too much because I love this game, but, you know, there's there's always that. So we're almost done. A lot faster going up than coming down, because going up I didn't have to fight anybody. Getting a lot of blueprints off these guys. Uh, that is the uh, drop rings at work. They're giving me a lot of items, which is good. I'm actually getting some... Um, Getting some healing items. I'm not actually taking too much damage here. I mean, I know I'm getting hit by the flies, but they actually uh, don't deal all that much damage. And now we're back at the beginning. Okay, guys, that's the first mansion out of the way. We have three more to go, and we have a bunch of exploration to get there, so I will see you guys soon. Later.